Okay, so the sixth question in our series of questions looking at integration revision. And this one says it's another substitution. So this is our third substitution on the chart. So this time we've got a trigonometric substitution. And we're asked to show for eight marks, so over 10% of the paper, we're asked to show that this integration here is actually this integration here. So let's write out the integration we need. So sine of x, cos of x, brackets 1 plus sine of x all to the power 5 with respect to x. And it's asking us to use this in uh, the substitution u is equal to 1 plus sine of x. So what we've got to do is we've got to use a, a different shape. We need to find, we need to get rid of the, uh, we need to replace all the x's basically with u's or some function of u, and we need to replace dx as well. So du by dx is equal to, well that goes to naught, sine differentiates to cos, cos x. So if you want to rewrite that, we get this. We get du over cos x is equal to dx. Or, I suppose you could think of it as dx cos x. So we've got a cos x and a dx. Both those things are going to be replaced by du. Or, we put du in for this, and then the cos x cancels with that. It doesn't really make much difference. Okay, so let's write out again. So we're going to get the sine x is this. And then the cos x and this cos x are going to cancel, so we're going to get a du at the end. And then we're going to get a u to the power 5. So this bit here is just u, u to the power 5, du. So I've replaced the dx with du, cos x have cancelled, and I've got a u for this is power 5. So that's looking much better, except I've got this sine x, which is annoying. And I should have spot that actually, to get rid of another function of x, if it doesn't all get rid of with our du dx substitution or uh, interchange, Actually, sometimes you need to rearrange this one. So actually, this one is quite nice and simple. We just have to rearrange that sine x is equal to u minus 1. So actually, really, we're dealing with the integration of u minus 1, u to the 5 du. So this is just uh, u minus 1, which is actually the integration of u to the power 6 minus u to the power 5 du. So we can go ahead and integrate that now. That's just 1 7th increase the power by 1 divided by the new power. U to the, uh, 1 7th u to the 7 minus 1 6th u to the 6th plus our constant of integration. And then we can just go ahead and replace our u's back with our 1 plus sine x. So we've got 1 over 7, 1 plus sine x to the power 7 minus 1 sixth 1 plus sine x to the 6 plus our constant of integration and then we can turn these fractions out of into out of 42 so let's move let's go straight across let's turn these out of 42 so this is 6 42 or 6 out of 42 1 plus sine x to the power 7 minus 7 at 42, 1 plus sine x to the power 6, plus our constant of integration. And then let's just carry on our working. So we can take out a 40, 1, 42, and, so, and then let's have this. That means we get 6 brackets. Oh, we can take out more than that. We can take out 1 over 42, but we can also take out, if we look in, we've got 1 plus sine x to the power of 6 here and here, but this is really, we've got an extra 1 plus sine x to make the power of 7. So we can take that outside as well, 1 plus sine x to the power of 6. And that's actually how we get the bit from our question, okay? And then that means we get 6 lots of 1 plus sine x inside the bracket, minus 7 
because we've taken out that whole factor there. And we're almost there then. We're almost there. So that means is, well, we just multiply this bracket out. We've got 6 plus 6 sine x minus 7. So that gives us 1 over 42. 1 plus sine x to the power of 6 on the outside. And then on the inside, we've got uh, 6 sine x from this bracket, from that link there. And then we've got to do the 6 minus 7, which is minus 1. And then we are finished. Plus, ooh, plus our constant of integration. So 8 marks, the substitution wasn't that difficult. All that happened was actually quite difficult was in the end was manipulating the algebra. So actually the important part, the substitution, replacing a dx with a du, replacing the main part of the substitution with a u, and then realizing that we had to fiddle around to get rid of the sine x2. So we had to get rid of this. That was the main bit. The actual integration wasn't very hard. It was just powers, just man, uh, algebraic manipulation. Okay, go back over it if you need to.